Hello, I am Engineer Shahyar and I am Technical Support Engineer at Azanavir. Today this video is about uh, fire suppression gas control panel. This panel you can see, this is a uh, uh, conventional 2169 series uh, uh, fire suppression gas control panel. From this panel we can uh, control FM200 and this ca panel can also be used for other gases like CO2 and uh, NOVEC. This is the 4 zone conventional control panel and uh, with the outputs for sounders and uh, also for manual switch and uh, about switch it can be controlled manually and autom automatically it has two modes and uh, it has three access panel access uh, uh, phases like one we can see the panel like this and then we can uh, so open the box and we can enable or disable our control panel and then if we want to go inside we can also open it and check the connection and like uh, everything and now I will tell you about the zones like this so you can see this is the four zone here we are connecting the two zones with the panel this is the sounder output zone this is the another sounder output zone there is a mode switch uh, mode port in the panel which I will show you when I will open the panel this mode switch uh, goes inside there and you can see that it can be switched uh, into both modes it can go into manual mode and it can go into auto manual mode here you can see this is the about switch there is a about port in the panel which can be connected to this and if we press it we can abort the function this is this also supports the GSM module it can uh, add up up to 10 mobile numbers and it is connected to the panel by RS485 this is the sequence starter there is a EM valve in the uh, valve port in the panel which is connected to this and there are four uh, EM electromagnetic ports uh, in this sequence starter which uh, connect these and operate these this is the gas this is for the gas surveillance like this is uh, connected to the pressure switch and uh, to the control panel so if there is less gas or, or if there is a less pressure in the panel this indicator will be shown and the panel will show the that there is uh, less gas or the gas is released like that this is the manual release station you can press it to release the uh, gas manually now there are uh, it has i will show you first about the panel then i will show you the function now for example this is the first page we can see you can see that the, in the panel working in the panel information like that then you can open it and then you can see that now the panel is working normally just there is a battery issue we are not connecting the battery here you can see there here it's a uh, it's a green LED showing the power it's the mains fault LED if there is any power fault in the panel this LED will turn on F this is for the fuse fault if there is any DC fuse fault this will turn on for earth problem it will come on battery fault if uh, the battery is not charging or it's not connected or if we do, we, we do not have a battery in the panel this LED will turn on this is a charger fault if the battery charger has some problem it's not charging the battery it will turn on any communication with the zones or the sound outputs it will turn on in case of fire it you can see this this is for the released like if the gas is releasing in case of fire this uh, will turn on for the general fault any kind of fault this LED will turn on if you disable the zone any disable the zone this LED will turn on now you I, I showed you here that this mode is in the auto manual uh, condition so this LED will turn on like this green LED if you will switch it to the manual mode that that this LED will turn on any fault in the mode this uh, uh, LED will turn on these are the pre alarm because the, I will tell you about the pre alarm how it works and now this is the reset button if you want to reset the panel this is the auto manual like uh, if you want you can you can switch it like this I will turn on this is the this I will enable it like this if you will you can you can switch it like manual here you can it's only manual you can switch it to auto manual and it will go to auto for a bot you can also uh, press there and if not you can also connect uh, cancel it from the panel and this is the panel silence button you if the panel buzzer is on you can panel uh, silence the panel remote silence if you if, the, you if you want to silence the bell or sounders this is the evacuate when you press it the whole system will work these are the zones this is the this is the button for release if you want the gas to release by just a button you just have to press it and the electromagnetic valve will start working and now this you can see this is the zone wise zone one two three four this is the sounder output any active fault disable uh, you can check it here from here 
and then uh, you can see this for the electromagnetic valve like when the fire will come and the electric ma magnetic valve will start working the it will turn on actuator when the sequence starter will start working this is the optical warning this this is the warning and if you will press the manual release it will start low pressure for uh, if the low, gas has low pressure to release it will turn on when it will be released it will turn on uh, like it will show you the active fault or disable and for the abort it will turn on now inside the panel i will show you you can see here that these are the ports this is the rs485 port this we use to connect our uh, gsm module and the sequence starter these are the relays this is the fault relay fire relay and uh, uh, release status and the manual only status these all come with no and uh, com options nonc com options and uh, now this is our uh, abort status with nc and com no these are all all relays now come to these ports this first port we have for the valve output the sequence starter valve em valve connection connects with this then next we have this this the next port is sounder zone port the also the next is sounder 2 port then the next come is optical warning for this uh, for this emergency this connect to this and uh, then we have a aux power 24 output and then we have conventional zones one to four like zone one to zone four we can connect with this then we have a low switch like uh, there is a switch with the fm 200 uh, panel that needs to connect with this so that the panel can control uh, the status of pressure and flow in the, the cylinder and then we have the mode switch like to connect it with the automatic and manual mode and then about switch we uh, we have the port for about switch that we can connect with the about device and then release release switch for manual release station we have to connect it with this and uh, this for manual switch we can connect there is a manual switch also we can connect it with this and <coughs> for the mains we need to connect with this now this is the ac power supply this is for the ac power supply and this 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 these leds you can see they are showing earth fault also battery fault fuse fault charger fault any any kind of fault it will show here like now it's a battery fault it's showing here now the system is running so it's showing here okay and these are the fuse and this is connecting to this interface board by this and uh, this is the main board main board is connecting to the interface board by this lead now we can see that in this panel we can also set the delay time the reset time and there is also this for zone i will tell you first i will explain you this for example in case of fire when the system sends the fire and uh, you want that uh, there is should be a delay time between the signal and the release of the fire so you can set it from 0 to 60 uh, seconds and there, then there is a reset time when the gas is released you, the panel will you can set any time and uh, up to 30 minutes and after that time the uh, panel will reset automatically and in this for example this in this pan in this uh, system one or one and two zone if they will fire, sense the fire one uh, uh, together then the electromagnet then the electromagnetic uh, wall will start and same if uh, the three and four zones will sense the fire the electromagnetic fall will start not with only one zone a uh, one zone will only show the pre fire uh, in the panel and uh, if we turn uh, if we turn it off both then the four and any uh, uh, fire in any tones, uh, two zones will turn on the four electromagnetic walls and if we turn on this uh, this dip switch then uh, uh, fire in any two zones will turn on, on only two electromagnetic walls now this is a, there are two two kind of uh, fm200 systems one is the cabinet type and uh, the other is the uh, network type in the cabinet type we have uh, this kind of cabinets and uh, inside this you can see that this is a fm200 gas fire extinguisher this is the electromagnetic valve and this is the pressure switch which will connect to the panel to check the pressure of the gas here and this is the network type you can see these are uh, the network of fm200 gas fire extinguishers and uh, these are connected to the by the pneumatic tubes to the nitrogen cylinders. You can see these are the nitrogen nitrogen cylinders. 
this system has the pressure of uh, 4.2 MPa and uh, this cabinet system has the pressure of approximately uh, 2.5 MPa. Now we will try to uh, start the panel. We have the electromagnetic wall connected. We have the manual uh, station connected to it. We have the abort uh, switch connected to it. We have the zone working. We will try uh, to uh, work with this how it uh, works so it, it will be super more easy for our clients to understand. We will try to smoke our smoke sensors. For example, this is zone one and zone two. I will tell you that this, this is because this is series conventional. So at the end of device, we need uh, 6.8k resistor, 6.8k, 6.8k resistor. You can see that it's showing the pre alarm. Now we will fire the other zone. The second smoke detector we are we will fire. And you can see that it will start. You can see the delay time has started. After the delay time, the electromagnetic star valves will start working. Now there are only zone one and zone two working because, because we have set the DIV switch like this. Now you can see that the valve one and valve two has started and it has already worked. This is the one way of it. No, this is the four. DIV switch has four because it's turned on, on. So you can see that the four valves have worked. Now you can reset it. Now you can also work it, like if you want to work it manually, you just need to do this and you will see that the delay time has started. Now you can see that the electromag sequence starter has already started its work, wall 1, wall 2, wall 3. It will operate all the valves. Now we can. Now I did not reset the um, uh, adjust the reset time, but uh, by this you can also <coughs> you can also set the reset time. For example, if you want uh, it to be one minute, you have to do it uh, off, 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 on. Like the first uh, four will be off and the last four will be on. So it will. Uh, this button will stop working and the uh, restart time uh, reset time will display here and after that reset time this panel will re reset automatically now we can do this by this switch if you if the if uh, the panel has sensed the fire or you or you have uh, manually started it you can just press it and the gas will not be yeah this will abort our function <coughs> and they, this only we connect now two zones you can connect up to four zones and uh, one if one and two zones are no. now you, you can see that it's, uh, it's showing manual release because I did not press it again. we have to press it again like this so that it will go back in its normal position Okay, now I will tell you something about a uh, little uh, RS-485 connection. This is the R I showed you here, this is the RS-485 RS port, which is coming to here in GSM module. There is uh, uh, RS-485 RS in terminal and RS-485 out terminal. So the, from the panel it's coming in and then it's going out towards the sequence starter. And in the sequence starter in RS-485 it is connecting. So our RS-485 is connecting GSM module in the sequence starter. The EM valve port here connecting to the EM valve port in the panel and there are four EM1, EM2, EM3 and EM4 ports which are connecting to this uh, uh, electromagnetic valves and uh, so that uh, this valve will work and uh, this will actually this will attach above the nitrogen cylinder or FM200 cylinder. 
So this was a little introduction and uh, operation of this FM200 panel and uh, next time if we have more information we will come uh, with the next better video. Now this manual release button I will show you its function. For example if we press it like this. We Turn on the sequence starter. You can see here ball one has been already active. This is the ball two. This is the ball three has been active now. And now it's the ball four. Now I have to press it again to the to reset the manual. If I don't press it, it will start again. You will see I did not press it and it's still manually released. And you can see. Just reset it and it will start again. So we have to press it always. Always be in when we uh, turn on the manual release station, we have to press it again. Now you will see that it's on. That so this will again. So until we don't press it like this, it will keep alarming. Now it will work one time and then it will go in the reset position. And now the system is working on